folks, JP coming at you out here from the uh, Four Corners Station Camp this afternoon here in Central Ohio. Getting a little snow. Calling for one to, or one. They're calling for three to six inches today. Said it was going to start around eight. Didn't really start snowing around noon, so who knows what we'll get and all that good stuff. But uh, came out here to the camp just to hang out. Uh, I love being out in the woods when we get good snow. It's just a peaceful, quiet place to be and really relaxing. So came out here kind of got an odd wind going on today normally the shelter <clears throat> the shelter set up facing east so that direction is east front of the shelter facing east 95% of the time the weather's coming from the west that kind of thing um, this front that's bringing the snow is actually coming from the west but the, w the wind we got right now is coming from the east down down low on the ground you know it's coming from the east so blowing all the smoke and everything back in his shoulder which is annoying but is what it is for today anyways um, I picked up a new pack new to me pack used pack from a junk store which uh, I just wanted to I guess show you guys all nothing fancy nothing new about it but everybody knows uh, primarily knows what it Alice pack is, but that's what I picked up, so we'll talk about that here in a little bit too. Anyways, stay tuned. Alright folks, so here's the pack. Like I said, an Alice pack, large. Uh, found it at a junk store. No frame, just the pack. Had a little damage. One of the buttons on this pocket is busted. One button's still good. Uh, the back where the uh, padding and stuff right up, or not padding, but up here where your frame supposed to go into was ripping out so I restitched that down but other than that this is how I got this is how I, how I picked it up so just an Alice pack nothing fancy about it with the three three small pockets on the top three largers on the bottom which is awesome hold can hold a lot of gear stuff a lot of gear and then inside is just a big dump pouch I loaded it up. I got about pack in the pack frame included, uh, about 40 pounds. So nowhere near what it can, nowhere near its limit. But 40 pounds is a good pack weight for me. I like, don't like to go much more than that. If I get everything I need in 40 pounds, that's good. I have a sleeping bag, a blanket, multiple tarps, food, cookware, all the essentials. So. But uh, yeah, that's part of why I came out today was I wanted to do, uh, just, just hike around with that on for a while and see how it felt. And it felt pretty good. Uh, what I did, since it didn't have the pack frame with it, I didn't feel like buying a pack frame. You know, I mean, you can buy the Alice pack frame or you can buy an Alice pack all together, you know, 100, 120 bucks or whatever. But I got the pack, I packed for 35 bucks. So that's all I'm into it for, which is good. Cheap, cheaper is better in my opinion. So what I did, since it didn't have the frame, I just took a Roy Croft pack frame that I had and just slapped it on there and it fit surprisingly well uh, for, for straps. These are just belts that if you ever buy a pair of cargo shorts, they typically come with that crappy belt with the D-rings. So I just put two of them together and then sewed on, cut some other ones up, that way I can uh, secure it around me. But all in all, it worked pretty good. I hiked around with it for a little bit. Uh, really comfortable so far. But yeah, neat little pack. Never been too big on the military style packs. More uh, more into the traditional leather canvas type packs myself for just aesthetics. I like the way they look better. But I wanted a pack. Yeah, I mean, packs are just fun to collect and try different systems and different packs and different ways of carrying gear. So, couldn't pass it up for 35 bucks. So, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to hike with it. I think I'm going to use it primarily going forward for a while. Just just get used to it and just uh, see how much I like it. See if I don't like it. You know, pros, cons, all that stuff's out there. A lot of people, I guess, from some reviews I've seen on YouTube, people love it or hate it. Either way, but... We'll just have to go. We'll just have to uh, 
I have to use it to see how it works. So this is the uh, house pack on a Rory Croft pack frame. I'm not quite at 40 pounds right now because I don't have the camera gear in here and I don't have uh, my two tarps. I'm just going to go out for a hike, so I'm just going to leave all that stuff here. But uh, like I said, that was one of the main reasons I came out was just to hike with this on my back. But real comfortable. Uh, hiking in, I didn't have this sternum strap going. So something I brought, so I hiked without it for a while. Now I'm going to hike with it, and it's just another one of them belts with the two D-rings on it. Just wrapped around the shoulder straps and pulled tight. But already, I think I like that. That's, I think I like that idea pretty good. So. I'll probably trim it up and actually late or actually sew it onto the sternum straps here, or sew it on, sew it onto my shoulder straps. Oh, and got this tail hanging and all that. It'll just be part of the pack and I can use it when I need it. But yeah, it's, all in all, it's pretty comfortable on the Rory Croft back frame. So, like I said, uh, just gonna go hiking around. I'm gonna leave the camera just because of the snow. I, it's not waterproof, I don't wanna mess it up, but I'm just gonna go hike around for a little bit. So. Oh, folks, back at uh, base camp after hiking around for a little bit, maybe an hour and a half or so, roughly. That pack felt great. I mean, sure, got a little fatigue in the shoulders, like, but you're going to get that with any pack. But this, I mean, I, I loved hiking with that on for just a short amount of time I did. So I think that's going to be a good pack for me. Anyways, back at camp, all packed up and loaded. So this is the pack full weight or full pack. Got camera gear in there and everything right now. Uh, where are we at? Oh yeah, there it is. Looking good. 40 pounds, including the camera gear. So. Thing held out great. Really fun hiking with that, so. The, uh, the pack frame itself, the Roycroft pack frame was comfortable. You see, I got a nice, uh, nice curved back piece down here, and uh, I don't know how to make it show that. Can you see how curved it is? It just hugs the back really well, though. So, anyway, anyways, folks, I would have stayed out here longer and I would have hung out more, but this, the Achilles heel of this shelter got me today big time and that is uh an east wind an east wind coming in blows the smoke right back into the shoulder like I, I mentioned earlier uh the front faces east you know 90 percent of the time our weather comes from the west so it, it 90 percent of the time it's great for that but the smoke blowing right back in there today I, it it was uncomfortable and i didn't i mean i just I would have stayed longer if it hadn't been for that. I would have kept fire going and maybe not went hiking like I did, but regardless, it's a good day out here in the woods. I'm gonna hike around a little bit more on my way out just to see what I can see. And uh, I think that's gonna do it though for the video. But uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, see you on the next one.